Good evening and welcome to War Thunder's website. I'm Old Dead Man. We do have a change coming to the game soon, but not immediately, uh, in regards to high explosive and its effect on the crew. Uh, the existing system, this, while they believe it to be somewhat accurate, uh, is not really satisfactory for Gaijin, so they're introducing some new changes here that they believe will make it more accurate and more uh, more uh, more capable for it within the image. It's within the engine. Uh, the short summary, if you want it in three seconds or less, it'd be uh, effects of high explosive is being increased, but hole break is being removed. They, because they believe this will take the same effect in general use of actually having an overpressure situation that will affect the crew. So expect this to be coming, according to this, coming sometime after Equistrike, which of course Equistrike released already. But this is coming soon. So keep an eye out for it. Let's see, uh, be interesting to see how it works. It might actually make it a better thing to be able to actually bring a high explosive rounder three for those really light uh, open top vehicles and things like that. Here, I'll just quickly read it to you. And if you want to read the whole thing, you can. But the that's the basic summary there is that the hole break is going to go away in exchange for the overpressure situation that would be happening to crew. And so if your high explosive actually penetrates a tank, uh, that's the crew inside are subject to this overpressure that kills the crew in the necessary compartment. So here's the, the details here. <laughs> we have finalized and improved the system for simulating explosions and high explosive impact for shells and armored vehicles in the game. The reliable and accurate simulation of high explosive ammunition damage is one of the most difficult mechanics when creating a realistic damage model. On the one hand, the impact of high explosive ammunition is a complex process consisting of several components. The impact of a shockwave, blasting action, fragmentation flow. On the other hand, it is necessary to simulate these components in real time with an insignificant load on computing power because at the same time, dozens of explosions of different power from 20 millimeter shells to five ton bombs can be created in the game. In general, the current system for modeling explosions in War Thunder meets these requirements. However, for greater realism, we decided to modify and improve it. At the moment, an explosion in War Thunder inflicts damage with two components, high explosive and fragmentation, while the high explosive part is modeled in the zone of maximum damage. In other words, in a fairly small radius in which damage can be inflicted directly on parts and components in vehicles. In addition, both high explosive and fragmentation damage are calculated separately and independently without taking into account their synergistic effect on the target. Also, the infiltration of the shockwave into an open volume or through a break in the armor was not modeled. Due to these restrictions, the game additionally uses the mechanics of the so-called hull break, resulting in a vehicle's destruction after receiving threshold damage to the structural elements at the same time. There are tons of questions from the players about this mechanic, and it doesn't satisfy us in terms of modeling accuracy and some conventions, especially with regard to high explosive ammunition. So let's get into the rest of it. The Equa Strike update introduces the following damage model changes. Synergy of fragmentation and high explosive impact. Crew knockout by overpressure. Now, under synergy of fragmentation and high explosive impact, if an explosion pierces armor with a high explosive action, a breach is created through which part of the fragments formed by the shell can pass through the armor without the actual need to break it with the fragments themselves. And under crew knockout by overpressure, it says, a new type of damage has been introduced, excess pressure damage at the front of the shockwave. This type of damage is inflicted only on the crew and works as follows. If the fragmentation or high explosive effect of an explosion hits one of the internal modules located in the fighting compartment, crew, tanks, breach, ammunition drives, this means that the explosion was powerful enough to break through armor at the point of impact and therefore the crew will be affected 
by excess pressure in addition to other damaging factors. A compartment in this case means a volume in which there are modules used to estimate the damage. For example, for Soviet MBTs, the fighting compartment contains all vehicle crew members, ammunition, aiming drives, internal fuel tanks, the breech of the gun, and radio equipment. In the case of tanks of the M1 Abrams series, fuel tanks and ammunition located in separate armored compartments are removed from this list, and for tanks of the Leopard 2 series, ammunition in the turret stowage is removed from this list, but the shells in the front of the hull are taken into account. For vehicles with a crew located in different compartments, for example the Ferdinand SPG, the overpressure mechanics will work separately and independently for the crew of the command compartment and for the crew members of the fighting compartment. Damage to open top vehicles, disabling of HE and shape charge jet, hull break. In open and unarmored combat vehicles, the crew located outside the armored volume will also be hit by excess pressure without additional checks for a break and damage to other modules. Thus, the relevance of ammunition for soft targets will be increased. On the other hand, the mechanics of hull break from a shaped charged jet and high explosive effects will be disabled as irrelevant. We expect those changes to make the damage model more realistic and transparent for players. The new mechanics will be introduced into the game sometime after the release of the Equus Strike update as a separate server patch with the publication of an update note. So again, summary, hull break is going away as a mechanic. It's being replaced with the crew overpressure and the these additional effects of high explosive and similar am ammunition. So as these effects are modeled into the game, it may affect how you're able to take out enemy tanks. It may cause serious um, changes to how things work. Now, it does not say, I might add, that hull break is entirely going away. So that is still in question. But since they're listing all the types of vehicles that hull break really affects, I don't see that necessarily as being a gone of gone for, you know, I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be sticking around. So the whole brake mechanic generally looks like it's going away, at least on the relevant vehicles, and it's being replaced with these overpressure mechanics with uh, high explosive rounds and similar. So that's everything for tonight. Uh, if you have any questions, we can go through the dev blog. I've got the link in the description below. And uh, hope this helps you out. Let me know what you think. And uh, you have a great rest of your night. See you in War Thunder. We expect those charges to make English. <laughs>